climate change is something that affects all of us, whether we feel it, see it, or not. I simply know that what's going on in deforestation and climate change is so fundamental, even though we may not see it on a day to day. It's going to affect each of our lives, and it's going to affect the future of humankind if we don't address it now. I know that every 24 hours, basically the amount of deforestation that occurs is the same as the amount of all 8 million of us around the greater London area getting on an airplane and flying to New York. That's only in 24 hours. When you think about year after year, the effects are absolutely catastrophic. For generations that come after us, we have, a, we have an incredibly important social responsibility. It's not just for our own lives, it's for the lives of our children and our children's children. And there's a lot of initiatives that we can take. We can take things in terms of just energy conservation. We can take things, initiatives, in terms of actually becoming involved in specific projects, like the Princess Rainforest Project. The internet is a tool, an invention, that has come about unlike any other one. The internet has no language. It has no borders. It has no geographies. It has no religion. It cuts across the globe. And, it, and so too does deforestation and the rainforest. It's something that we can use to, in order to engage people and to leverage each and everybody's voices in rallying to address the problems of deforestation. I have been to a rainforest actually down in Venezuela, in the southern part of it, and it's one of the most remarkable experiences I've ever had. It's a sense of fresh air, of of breathing like you haven't breathed before and being with all these different ecosystems and animals that it's a truly remarkable experience. My favorite rainforest species is the red-billed tuca. When I was a little boy, my favorite cereal was actually of a rainforest character, the red-billed tuca. And so I've always remembered it since then. So that is definitely one that's, that's dear to my heart. I've had tremendous memories of frogs because when I was a little boy, my father used to be given frogs, not live frogs, but absolutely objects of frogs from all over the world. So we received frogs that were from Birmingham, Boston, Bali, Botswana, from any, just about almost any place in the world. You know, frogs have always had a cherished place in my heart. Absolutely. My frog should be named after my father, Philip. <laughs>